Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have previously posted and as I have given you a heads up, um, Google will be ending support for Chrome on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 in early 2023 and that will be on the 7th of February next year when they are rolling out and releasing Chrome version 110. So after the 7th of February and when Chrome version 110 rolls out, as posted previously, um, the Chrome web browser will no longer be supported by Google on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. Now, recently Google rolled out Chrome version 108, which is the latest stable release. And there are reports now for users using Chrome on Windows 7 and, 8, and Windows 8.1 that uh, Google has taken their end of support one step further and are now displaying banners at the top of Google Chrome informing you if you are using the browser on Windows 7 and 8.1 that you need to start upgrading to a newer version of the operating system to remain supported on Chrome. And the message reads something similar to this. To get future Google Chrome updates, you'll need Windows 10 or later. This computer is using Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. So if you are seeing that um, banner in your Chrome web browser, um, it is time, as I've mentioned previously, to start upgrading to a newer version of Windows to remain supported um, in the Windows operating system and also if you are using Google Chrome to remain supported in the Chrome web browser because it's, it is not advised um, to use an unsupported web browser, especially a web browser which doesn't get any security updates and support because it is your first line of defense and it's not advised because without security updates um, your browser then remains open to threat and attack which is not a good idea. But with that out the way, and um, if you are still wanting to use Google Chrome, um, and um, that's up until it reaches its end of support in February next year, or you just want to carry on using Chrome unsupported, then there is a way to get rid of that a warning banner from Google at the top of the browser by editing the registry. Now, um, to do this, we need to just head to um, the Windows key and R. That will open the run. And then you just enter reg edit and click on OK. And this will open the Windows registry. Now, as I always suggest before we fiddle in the registry, always export the registry, back it up. It doesn't take very long. So if anything does go wrong and um, you do something wrong, you can always import um, that backed up registry just as a safety net. Now, um, to remove that notification banner, um, we need to head to H key current user, expand that. Then we need to click on software, expand that. Policies, you do the same, and yeah, you should see a Google, a Google key. Okay, so we see you should see a Google key, which you will then expand, and then you will see Chrome. Now, as you can see, in my case, I'm not seeing those keys because I'm using Windows 11 for this video, and my Chrome web browser will not be ending support next year in 2023. So, you should just to repeat that you should see a Google key under policies and then you expand that Google key and then you should see Chrome. Now what you need to do when you um, see the Chrome key is you need to right click on the Chrome key and then you need to do this. You need to re rename the value to suppress unsupported OS warning. Then you need to open that value and change its data to one. Now I'll leave a, a, a link in the description to what you need to do so you can just copy and paste. But just to give you an example using another key. Now I'm just going to use Microsoft. This is not the key you will use. You are using, you are expanding Google and then using Chrome. But I'm using this just as an example to show you. You will then click on Chrome, right click, new, D word, um, that will be a D word 32 bit value. Then you will rename it suppress unsupported OS warning. So we're just going to copy that in. You'll rename that, paste that in, and then what you will do is you'll double click on that key and you will change the value data from 0 to 1 and then you'll click on OK and then you'll X out of the registry and then what I do advise is restart your operating system and then when you come back to Google Chrome using Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 that banner then should be removed and urging you from Google to basically update um, to Windows 10 or later to remain supported using Google Chrome. But as I repeat, and I'm saying this again, it's not advised to use an unsupported uh, web browser 
because you will no longer be getting security updates but if you want to you can edit the registry as shown in this video and as mentioned i will leave all the steps to follow editing the registry um, in the description for easier access and reference so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one